Hi guys, this is another tutorial from DrupalNoobs.com. Um, this time we're gonna look at the CK editor, um, which I think is the best option uh, for a WYSIWYG uh, editor in Drupal. There are lots of uh, what you see is what you get editors uh, for Drupal. There's even uh, what you see is what you get module, which uh, gives you the opportunity to choose from a whole bunch of editors, but I prefer the standalone version of the CK editor module because it just works. It works perfectly. So, um, first of all, we're going to uh, Drupal.org and we're going to download the CK editor module. Just search for it. Probably the top one. All right, we're gonna download this package. Now let's do that again. Let's save it to my desktop and unzip it. And we also need the uh, CK editor library. Um, this is a folder we're gonna create in our sites all uh, folder on the web server. So um, most easy way is to create a new folder on your desktop and name this libraries. And now we're going to download um, the CK editor library from their website. Uh, let's see. Um, right here, ckeditor.com, not that difficult. Um, just the top one, don't download CK Editor for Drupal because we just did it. Uh, right click, save it. I'm going to save this in the libraries folder and also unzip it. All right, we can delete this zip file. And you will see we have uh, a folder structure starting with libraries, then a folder called CK Editor. And in this folder, there are a bunch of CK Editor uh, PHP module stuff. Um, okay, next step, let's fire up FileZilla and connect to our web server. Let's see. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, we created a new uh, Drupal installation. So I'm going to navigate to that first. It's called tests. Then uh, we're going to sites all. I'm going to drag the libraries folder right into that from the desktop. Bunch of CK editor files. And we also want um, the module we just downloaded, the other folder. We're going to put this, that in uh, sites all modules like this. And now we wait a second. All right, that's done. Okay, next step, we're going to uh, our browser and visit our website, in this case, uh, drupalnoobs.com slash test. And we're gonna log in. And then we're going to modules. Scroll down and you will see the CK editor module. You just select it and save configuration. This will take a second. And now we enabled the CK editor module. Now, next step, we're going to uh, configuration and we're going to uh, text formats, filtered uh, HTML, this, that's the one that most users will, will use. Uh, configure and we want to 
get some of these uh, away uh, because CK editor makes sure that the, 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 the code um, becomes uh, correct so we don't want another filter um, correcting the correct code and in that way just making it incorrect so um, we're gonna disable this one this one and this one and we're gonna save this All right, um, when we add content, article, and you will see the CK editor already working, we can just make a test. Something like this and save this. And you will see it it works perfectly it it has uh, the right uh, right enters and right white spaces so that's great all right guys that was it uh, next time we will be uh, talking about uh, some structure uh, using uh, the blocks in, in your Drupal website and in the future there will be a tutorial in for including the YMCA file browser uh, into your CK editor Bye-bye, guys.